Previously I made a terrible mistake when I said you can try GNOME 40 from Box's nightly images, and those things happen when you trust others without actually trying it yourself. So apologies for that! However, the plan is for GNOME to provide at some point a such image. It just isn't there yet, so I will super quickly show you how you can try it already. And I will start by closing boxes, which in general isn't a very reliable virtualization front end, so I wouldn't really reckon to use it. So, the first thing you need to do is to go to GNOME Build Meta Repository, and then you want to select the Shell 40 branch. Click on Download Artifacts, and select the ISO installer image. That's a 2GB zip file that I have downloaded already, and if you unzip it you'll find an ISO file inside. Next I'm going to use Vert Manager application, and just to mention it was not possible to boot the image on GNOME boxes, and in fact there are several issues opened on that. Okay, let's start by creating a new machine, and we select a local install media, and we import the image we downloaded before. And yes, GNOME 40 and GTK4 don't have yet a better file picker, if you're wondering again. So, on operating system I will pick Endless OS, which it doesn't really matter but I want to show you something later. I leave CPU and RAM as it is, but I will reduce disk to 20GB though. Then setting a nice name like GNOME 40. And next it is very crucial to tick the customize configuration box before you proceed. If you forget that, then you'll need to manually edit XML files, so just don't forget it. Here I'm not going to explain why I'm doing what I do cause it will take lots of time, so just follow along. So first I'm going to change the chip to i440FX, and boot firmware to UEFI, but without secure boot. And apply. And last step I will change the display to Virtio, although I never ever managed to get a hardware acceleration with my NVIDIA. So basically we are all done, and time to start our GNOME 40 box. And there is no agony if it works, because it is a pre-recorded video, ha! Huh. So, GNOME Nightly and Flatpak Runtime. And agonizing loading, which reminds me again that GNOME has the best logo ever. Next is the installer screen, which by the way it comes straight out of Endless OS, which is why I picked EOS before. Like an additional movie plot. And fortunately it doesn't give us lots of options. It's basically a checkbox, next. And done. Okay, power off and next it will ask us for our credentials. That's basically the GNOME initial setup, so we pick English. And English again. Privacy. A random place somewhere in Mother Russia. Skip online accounts. Username typical me but in your case it is you. And even more typically my 4 digits password. And we're ready to go. And I so wish we actually had a GNOME OS, but I don't believe I will live long enough to see that happening, but whatever. So we're finally in, and Shell 40 will start automatically on window picker state, at least for now. Just keep in mind that things change daily on this branch, and without knowing, I believe you can get daily updates. Basically let me change the resolution and show you how. Oh, just remember again without hardware acceleration the animations are failing on QEMU. Okay, so we can open a terminal and since this is an OS tree image, we can say, sudo, OS tree admin, and upgrade. And also remember this image is for testing purposes only. You can make a hard install, but it wouldn't be a good idea to use it daily and make private transactions. Hmm, yeah. You can also update from GNOME software that has an OS tree plugin, I forgot about that. However I left it for 10 minutes and nothing happened. Anyway, that was everything. Thank you for watching and all the usual. Bye bye!